Hello, my name is Larimer Chopin. In this video, we're going over in painting tools inside the Stability Fusion with Automatic 1111 installations. We're going to look on the workflow and what is best to use. I'm using RPG version 5. You can download this from Civit AI. Easiest way to do this is by utilizing extensions. You can then download the extension Civit AI. Inside the extension tab, I will provide for you down below link how to install this extension and how to use. When you install Civit AI, just going down and search terms, type RPG, click refresh, and after a short time, you'll notice right here the model will be displayed. What we're looking at is a specific RPG. Mine is currently installed and you can see it's in the green frame. If you don't have it any frame, it's mean this model or checkpoint not yet installed or if it's orange color that it's been outdated because this is RPG version 5. To update you can select the model you want it. If it's already installed and you want to update just click delete model and after delete you should have it the button says download model then click on this model and download it. After download complete going on your model selection you can click refresh which is update list and from drop down you can select it as well you can select it by going inside the text to text click on the text inversions actually checkpoints sorry and in checkpoints you can also select directly from here the model which will upload after upload complete we are ready to work let's go ahead and image to image and we're going to utilize one of the image to using in painting for the test, I'm going to use this image of stone gargoyle and I just want to replace the face. If we just utilize the image itself, we're going to paste the beautiful girl portrait face mount out of stone. It's what I want to replace here. And without in painting, just straight out. We'll show sure we select properly model. Let's go down. Let's go ahead and use about 50 steps. We're going to utilize Zuller 8 just for the faster processing. The current model actually recommend to use the uh, DPM 2 plus M cars. But again, the Euler will work just fine in this case. And size, I'm going to be sure we matching our original size of the image. And we'll go down. Most important, it will be denoise string. If we're using by 75, it will overlay with heavy noise over our image let's click to render and you can see it does not look at all what we needed the good balance if you just want image it will be some way around 0 0.3 0 0.2 and you can see it did create beautiful face similar but a problem when we create it will last a lot of details so it does created the portrait of the girl as a stone similar what we have it with our gargoyle but notice we lost all of these beautiful details in the background. To preserve these details, it's why we want to use it in painting tools. To do this, we just need to go down below and click on in paint. This is, will take our image and all parameters that we set and passed inside our image. Next, what we want to do, we want to select the mask for this. I'm going to just use the mask tool and select the face that I want to replace or area where I think it's will apply it. It's very important not to go over this edge. We want to be kind of close but leave enough the face we want to run here. Let's go down below mask blur. It will determine blur on the edge of the mask how much we want to blend in. Also mask mode in painting it's mean inside the mask tool it's where the in painting happen if you want to preserve just a place where you paint select the in painting not mask on this case it will reverse our mask next we have it mask content feel original late noise and late nothing this is different ways applying the noise i found in many cases late noise or original work the best next one only mask padding pixels we'll leave it for now as 32 default if we want to decrease it will create a bit sharper look for the picture 
Next, in painting areas responsible for whole picture or only masking, it is analysis of the image. If we use an all image, it will analyze also around the areas and create more realistic. If we have it only mask, I'll show you shortly, you will see it will be different between outside and inside. So let's leave it this as default. Steps and everything, we leave it as default here, including the noise string, and let's click generate. As generate completed, we can preview any notice right here. We still have it all as high details preserved and face is beautifully replaced with new what we wanted instead. Let's check if we select only mask it. On this case, analysis will happen only inside. In some cases, it's work OK, but also it will create a different coloring. And you notice right here how it's come closer. And it's great. If we look, it's notice we don't have the same textures as before. It did try to match the coloring on the background, but it does not match all the details that we have it in previous and make a little bit smoother look. The another nice options about creating, you can utilize additional extensions like, for example, a root to replace face. For example, if we're going to extend a root and we'll take it and paste some of the face and currently I will just use this image. We'll go click enable, leave it everything as default. And let's go click generate. Notice we're still inside, so it's will analyzing inside. And the last step should replace this face with our root as it recognizing the face as well. And right here we have it, our image with face replacing. Notice again, because we're using in paint, we don't have this enough details. We can go back and switch to whole picture in this case to analysis. And let's run this one. And right here we have it, our render. And notice we have a little bit more details. However, anytime when you have it, a root, it will try to replace with original face, which it does not, it does a very good job, but we still lose some original of details. And this is just example. Let's uncheck group and another options I want to show you because in some cases you'll find these techniques maybe does not work as you want. It. In this case, we want to use it in paint upload. It will perform about similarity only give it us ability to upload mask instead of drawing. And in many cases, it may work better because you can create a little bit more precision in another tools like for example, Photoshop created additional mask, more accurate, zoom in and have it all these details or use it some other selection tools. So in this case, what we do same things, we'll post an image here and we'll take our mask. And usually I create as PNG with transparent white color representing our mask. We leave everything as default at this point, included our denoise string. And after this, just click generate. And we don't have a group anymore. So you can see we generated perfectly with this mask as a sign and our face even hold the same texture as the rest of the body, which is match very good. Of course, you can play around a little bit more to try find right seed. Then you can post it inside as a recycle. So it's already use the same face for you if you desire to do so. Okay, let's go showing a little bit the experiment in this case. And I'm going back to just the in painting what we done before. And I'm going to modify the noise string so you can see the difference that you can achieve. The higher the noise string, the more noise will apply over. And as a result, we can have it more flexible effect. But you'll notice it start playing too much out of the image. So for example, let's go to increase to 7.5. And we'll go render this. And as a result, you can see a big difference on the faces because it's allowed more flexibility. In some cases, it's maybe what you're going, but many times I found it's a little bit more unpredictable. And if you're going too low, for example, 0.5, let's go around maybe 7, 8, you'll notice it's not enough noise and image will stay and resemble too much our original and even maybe lose some of details. So right here, you can see kind of like original image because not enough noise for our image to work around and extrapolate data from that. And you'll notice 0.3 work very well. 
you not just necessarily need work just with the face you can also create very nice animations inside your still images by utilizing animate div on converted this to png and what i was meaning by nice animations you maybe see sometimes they have it like moving water or moving cloud or other elements so let's show what example you can do for right here we can see we have a house and we have it chimney so if i just go and draw this area around on the top of the chimney and instead this i can put it smoke it's all what we need to do let's go ahead remove our seed because we want to do i leave it everything as default and without animations i'm going to click generate just to preview what we have it and in some cases because it is not enough noise information we'll need increase it's maybe work very good on face but in this case we need to add more flexibility and we'll go back to about 68 7 and click generate this maybe take a few tries till you find a correct one in this case i found that the late noise work a little bit better as well i increased to 7.75 so we have it more permanent smoke visible in our case and when you like it i do recommend for you click to lock so we have it similar effect up there next when we're done let's go have it our animated div expanded and click to enable animations i leave it everything as default in this case if you don't have it animated div install as extensions i will provide another link down below for you to also check and install animated div on your computer after this completed let's go ahead and click generate this will take a little bit longer time because it is need to regenerate our 16 frames that we have selected before and combine them to create our smoke and this create animations we can preview all the frames it's preparing be sure they're coming very good it may take a little bit time depend on how many steps you selected and what resolution and how fast is gpu on your computer okay and after some time right here is completed and we can preview you can see a small animation in the smoke of course we can done like left and right a little bit move it to create more interesting but i think this way you can very easy to add a nice small touch and live bring to your images the options you can also animate leaves sky and smoke in this case if you have it water the water ripples but i highly recommend for you to animate one element at a time because if you just type clouds and smoke you'll get literally mess around because it's one recognize so just be sure you animate one element at a time the another thing someone point to you that images we created they are much smaller size than original images to increase size of course we can go and send them to the extra where inside we can upscale the images but i found out there are another applications like gigapixels work much better and produce greater result on a quality it does utilize internal ai and i have a very good review about how it works and you can see it's add quite a bit details beautiful details because it's utilized ai operation on the back end to analyze what is is inside the image and creating sharpness without destroying like in this case for example booking or blur effect i'll provide link down below for the newest ver version of the gigapixels that were just recently released and thank you for watching this video let me know um, what next video you want to be about thank you for your support your subscribe and sharing this video.